Welcome back to the Finance Value Guy. In today's video, I'm going to be showing you all how you can earn passive income with Tron staking. So I'm making this video because it's been requested quite a few times, but I'm going to show you guys all the steps you need in order to make sure you can do this pretty well. So one of the first things that you're going to need to go ahead and do is to get this. So this is, of course, the Tron link. Now, what this allows you to do is this allows you to access your Tron wallet. And this is the wallet that is recommended by the Tron Foundation. So Tron Link was firstly launched at Tron's official website and backed by the Tron Foundation. And Tron Link is the Tron wallet with the most users coming in in the three versions. So you do have the Chrome wallet extension, you've got iOS, and of course you've got Android. Now, if you click the link in the description or just go onto, you know, the Google Web Chrome store and you type in Tron link, you'll then get to this. Then what you need to do is you need to click add to Chrome, because if you don't do this, a lot of times when you're using the TRX token or the Tron token, you're going to be prompted to do this. So now that it's added to Chrome, what you now want to do is, of course, go up to your extensions, then just click it. Then you can see that I've now accessed my wallet. Now, of course, this is just a very short overview of my wallet but we're going to get into the main piece but ideally when you're setting this up you do have to do a few things like set a passcode and a passphrase just make sure you do all of that stuff and write that stuff down because if you don't you're not going to be able to back up your wallet and you're going to lose your wallet if you don't write those phrases down what i would do is i would copy those probably write those in a journal somewhere save them on a hard drive somewhere in fact don't save them on a hard drive somewhere save them on your computer somewhere because you could lose the hard drive. And if the person gains access to your seed phrases, then they could immediately gain access to your Tron wallet. So now that you've managed to set this all up, what you want to do now is, of course, so the next step for you to do now is, of course, you could use the app like this. But what you want to do is you want to go ahead and click view and explorer. Then once you click view and explorer, this is a lot better because this just gives you a better user interface in terms of what you want to do. So I haven't actually done this yet. So I'm going to go ahead and do this now whilst I'm in the video so that you guys understand what's going on. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to click receive. So basically, I'm going to receive my Tron. And basically what I'm going to do here is I'm just going to go ahead and click receive. And then I can literally copy this address in now. So I'm going to head on over to a different exchange. So here I am on Mexi. And what I'm going to do is let me actually go over to the spot area. And I'm just going to go ahead and buy some TRX. So I'm going to type in TRX USDT. I'm literally just going to buy like, I don't even know how much I'm going to buy. Um, I, I'm, let me just put in like $20 because this is just easy. In fact, yeah, just going to buy $20 at market. So market means that the order is going to get filled really quickly. So it should be filled. Oh, oh, hopefully my position should be filled. Shouldn't take too long. Let me just refresh the page. And so there it is. My position has been filled and you can see my trade history. I've just managed to buy some Tron and that has now been executed. So now what I'm going to do now is I'm going to go ahead and move this Tron to another wallet. So now what I'm going to go down is to trade. Then I'm going to put withdraw. So once I click withdraw here, you can see the TRX. I'm then going to put the address that I just copied and pasted. Of course, I'm just going to leave this on this. Then, of course, I'm going to select all of it. And then, of course, I'm just going to click submit just like that. And then, of course, as long as I wait, it should. So now I've withdrawn this TRX and it should be processing. I'm not sure how long this is going to take, but once it is done, I will show you it all in my other wallet. Now, if you're wondering how long these transfers do take, it does say that on average, it will take up to three minutes to confirm your transfer. So that's what I'm going to wait for here. I'm just going to wait about three minutes and then it should be in the wallet. Now, it actually didn't take three minutes. It actually took around a minute or two, like literally as soon as I said it was going to take three minutes, it literally just arrived here. But you can already see that we do already have this. So this is quite nice. You can see that instantly the TRX slash Tron network is really fast. It's really rapid and you're able to get your Tron immediately. So what I want to be able to do now is I want to be able to use this to actually earn some passive income. So now that we are on this Tron page and you can see that my wallet is currently funded, you can see that my bandwidth has gone up. So you can see right here, it says each activated account can get around 603 bandwidth every day and you can gain more bandwidth by staking in your stake 2.0 or obtain delegated bandwidth from other users. So what you can see right here is currently this might change, but the current staking rate is around 4.45% annual percentage yield. So this is how much you're going to get in return when you stake your Tron. So this is exactly what you can do. And of course, here you can click where you can see your energy and your bandwidth. Now, here's some things that you do need to know about energy and bandwidth that aren't available on the page, 
But I'm going to tell you guys anyways, because you need to know this information or else you're actually going to lose some of the TRX in your account. So essentially on the left hand side, we have the Tron Energy. The purpose of Tron Energy is primarily used for executing smart contracts on the Tron network. This represents the computational power required to perform these operations. Energy can actually be obtained by freezing TRX tokens. And when you freeze TR TRX tokens, you lock them up for a certain period. And in return, you'll receive your energy. Now, this energy can then be used to execute smart contracts without occurring additional TRX fees. Usually when you're using the platform and doing things without energy or bandwidth, you're going to essentially, unfortunately, burn your current TRX, which means that this value is going to go down if you don't have these values all the way up. Essentially speaking, if you don't have energy or bandwidth, TRX is going to be burned to cover that cost. Now, let's cover bandwidth. So bandwidth is right here on the right hand side and you can see I've already got 600. Bandwidth is used for the regular transactions on the Tron network, such as transferring TRX tokens or TRC10 tokens. This allows users to perform these transactions without paying the hefty gas fees. Now every Tron account receives a certain amount of three bandwidth daily and additional bandwidth can be obtained by freezing your TRX tokens similar to energy. And bandwidth is consumed based on the size of the transaction. If you exceed your bandwidth limit, the TRX will be burned to cover the additional cost. So it's important to note that when you're transferring all these tokens around to identify how much bandwidth you have left. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to click get resources. And then you can see right here, you can see bandwidth and Tron power. Now, of course, I don't want Tron power. So I'm going to click energy and Tron power. So you can see it says how much you want to stake. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to click max. Just make sure you're on TRX and I'm going to click max. And it shows me here that I'm going to get about 690 energy and 125 Tron power. So right here, of course, just make sure the receiving address is your own. It's usually already done there. And if we just click confirm, you can see right there that it's going to give me some pop up menu. And of course, it shows me that it's going to actually consume 254 bandwidth. You might not see it right there, but you can see it shows me 254 bandwidth. But from this, I actually do gain some Tron power, which I can use to vote on who I want to validate the network. So if I just click sign right there, you can see it's now obtained 690 energy along with 125 Tron power. So this is really nice. So now I can vote to earn rewards with an APY of up to 4.5%. So if I click this button now, you can see here, I can literally vote on who I want to validate the network. You can see this person has 3 million votes. This person has a certain amount of productivity and you can see the annual percentage yields based on the different individuals. So it might be in your best interest just to bet slash vote on the person with the most yield. But I'm going to show you guys for demonstration purposes how this does work. So I'm going to click this first one right here and I'm going to click vote. And then I'm just going to click, you know, let's say, for example, 28 votes. And then I'm going to click vote and you can see voting here, the annual percentage yield. I've already got 125. I'm only putting 28 in. And then of course I want to again sign this and you can see this is also going to deduct some more bandwidth. So of course I click sign and you can see my voting has completed. So now of course, if you don't want to decrease your bandwidth, of course, just don't vote because it won't go down. But you can see right here that every transaction apart from queries will consume your bandwidth. So basically when you're using this stuff, ensure that your bandwidth is quite high. I'm not saying you shouldn't vote to participate in the network. But what I am saying is that of course, if you just vote like I did, that value is going to go down. So now, of course, when you do vote in these things, what tends to happen is you do get some voting rewards. So over time, as you continue to vote and engage in the network, this value right here will increase. And you can see right now, because I haven't done a lot and because I've just opened this account, what will happen is that there's not going to be anything there. But over time, as I continue to use this account, there's going to be this claim button that I click. And then that's when I'm going to actively passively be earning money from this. So that's how that works. When essentially you see your voting rewards here, you essentially just click claim. And then that's how you're going to be where you earn your passive income. So quickly, it's a new day and you can already see that my balance has updated. So remember previously when it was $20, well, now it's 20 and 14 cents. So you can see right here that I've actually gained my rewards. So my rewards for voting, and you can see that the voting APY is here. The fact that of course I voted on them, you can see that I can now claim the rewards. So I'm gonna click claim and you can see it says, oh, you want to show you sure they wanna claim these rewards. I just click confirm. And then of course I just sign and it does take some bandwidth. And then of course, right there, you can see I've just claimed my TRX. So that's how you do it. Of course, the more that you vote, the more you're going to get. It's completely up to you. But I want to show you that this, you know, does work. Now, if you want to unstake your TRX, you can click here 
and then you can click unstake and you can see this will be able to be withdrawn after the 14 day unstaking period. So if you don't want to wait 14 days to unstake it, just make sure that before you do all of this, you don't stake an amount that you need because once you do it, it's going to be there and locked in for 14 days. So just make sure you only do this with a small amount or an amount that you're comfortable not having for the next two weeks. So now with that being said, that should show you how you can actively earn passive income from Tron staking. And this makes it relatively simple as all you'd have to do now is simply just wait here, just continue voting and using the network. And then of course you can simply click claim once your rewards have been allocated. Now, another way that you can actually stake TRX is if you want to stake it on a different platform like Mexi or the other traditional ones, just head on over to their staking area. So for example, if you use Binance, just put in Binance staking. For example, I put in Mexi and I put in staking and then they have many different things that you can actually stake. But if I put TRX, you can see right here that I've got a 4% APR. So you can see right here that this has a flexible duration. I'm sure that if I want to stake these, if I click stake now, you can see that it shows me all the different values. And if I click confirm and stake, it says the balance is insufficient because I don't actually have that much TRX. But you can see right here that my subscription date and the value date and the interest distribution date is every single day. So essentially every single day, I'm going to get more TRX into my account. And I know that this probably isn't the method that you were all thinking about, but this is another way that you can earn money through staking that I find is just really easy.